Well, greetings and welcome to our series of weekly devotionals. Today we're we're wrapping up this week's series as we uh, wrap up our look at uh, some verses in chapter 8 of Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. And today we're going to look specifically at verses 12 and 13. You know, I remember several years ago I was at the church and I think it was a, a special Sunday where kids were prominently involved and there was a bunch of young kids you know five or six or seven years old and they were running up here uh, behind me uh, on the chancel they were running back and forth and kind of having some fun and getting rid of some of their energy before the worship service and there was a an older lady sitting in the back pew and she she motioned me to come over and uh, she complained to me that the kids uh, were uh, running up by the altar and running across the chancel and that this was this was inappropriate in her estimation and uh, you know it really bothered her uh, to see this going on and I don't remember exactly what I said to her but I, I think I said something to the effect of well you know I'm just sort of happy that kids are here and uh, left it at that but, you know I think uh, that was an example of how uh, so many times uh, we think that what is important in, in, our, in our church life, our community life together, um, is our own personal choices, preferences, and how that so often um, outweighs uh, the, the greater good or, or the, the community good or the good of others. You know, when it comes to things like, oh, music in the church or, uh, you know, what other people are wearing, uh, when they come to church on Sunday, how others uh, behave if they're unruly or uh, the, the way that people talk uh, to one another. Um, you know, we have certain ideas about how things should be. And, you know, we don't really care uh, sometimes about uh, what's best for others or what others might think. Uh, we, we think, well, they should do what I think they should do. And Paul, in, uh, in this passage, uh, very clearly addresses this idea of uh, personal liberty versus the greater community good. And he says in verses 12 and 13, But when you thus sin against members of your family and wound their conscience when it is weak, you sin against Christ. Therefore, if food is a cause of their failing, I will never eat meat so that I may not cause one of them to fall. So more important for Paul than his own ideas about whether it's appropriate to eat meat or not is whether it's a help or a hindrance to the faith of others. And for Paul, the greater good, the good of others, the good of community always was more important, more of a priority than his own personal sense of, of liberty and freedom and his own personal rights. And of course, this is, has become a big uh, conversation, a uh, big sort of conflict uh, in this time of pandemic in which we are living. You know, we, we hear so often um, that some of the actions that people have taken to try to keep people safe and well are, uh, are violating my personal rights and my constitutional rights and my individual freedoms, and I can't stand for this. And... Uh, but on the other side of that is, is the notion that, you know, maybe some of the sacrifices we're enduring are for the greater good, the good of others, the health of the community at large. And, you know, uh, I think as those who profess to follow Jesus Christ, um, that choice uh, isn't really much of a choice at all, you know. When it comes to personal liberty versus the good of others, the greater good uh, for the Apostle Paul uh, and for Jesus Christ, that was a, a clear choice. Uh, the choice was clear that the greater good comes first. And for us, the choice should be clear as well. Amen.